going on YouTube? Um, pretty sure the last time that I talked to you guys, I was sitting in this exact same spot. Um, I only got to go fishing one other time since then, and uh, we didn't do that well. But uh, just something to look forward to is next week I'm going to be going to uh, Fairmont, which is a little over two and a half hours from here, going on a work business trip. And uh, I'm going to try to, well, there is no try. Um, I'm going to be doing some fishing up there, and I'll probably be doing my MTV Slam video up there as well. But just wanted to uh, show you guys some new things that I got today, just in case I do the Slam video. Uh, go ahead and start off with this. This is the uh, Whopper Popper. Um, this one is called the Yellow Head, which has got a little bit of yellow right there behind the gills if you can see that and it's pretty dark and this one is the smaller one um it's a uh, 0.4 ounces so can't wait to try that i saw lots of whopper whopper videos here and there and i'm excited to try that one um and we got one other hard plastic this time which is the uh thread fin shad by live target this is the bait ball series Hope you guys can see that, but it's basically a crankbait with rattles, and looks like a bunch of school and fish, a bunch of school and third fish shad, I guess you would say. And again, I'm, I'm excited to try that one out as well. Um, this is ribbit, baby bass colors. These are just soft plastic frogs. Um, I didn't get the double hooks with them. I'm just going to try Texas rig first. Um, there's five in here. They're, and these are garlic scented. And uh, I know I didn't. No, I didn't name off any of the prices, which is okay because I'll I'll put all these down in the uh, video description as well as prices because I got these off from Dick's Sporting Goods. So I had a little bit of free time earlier to go to Dick's and uh, get some stuff. All right, I'll move on to the next one. Uh, we got my favorite, most favorite crawdad bait, which is the uh, power bait chigger craw. Uh, that's not the crazy legs, which is okay, but this is a black and blue flake style. A um, little bit different than than what I've used before. I don't think I've ever used this this color because I haven't seen this color anywhere. Um, I usually go with the green pumpkin. Color. I like the green pumpkin the best because I've had the best luck out of it. But okay, I'm gonna move on. And uh, guess what? It's uh, another crawl bat, crawl dad bait. This is the uh, big bites uh, swimming crawl assortment. I'm guessing these are different. I'll go ahead and open these up. See if they are different. Because usually an assortment means they're different. Now, let's see. On the first two, they're pretty much all the same. Yeah, they're, they're not not in a sort of color or different style or anything. It's just um, five black ones. And I'll go ahead and take this out. And see it. A little bit darker color. Um, I need some darker color baits, and hopefully. Hopefully this one will give me some bites. Like I said, I'm not trying to get too excited, but because I want to do the MTB unboxing or the MTB slam video first. I really want to do that first. <clears throat> and I'd like to try it on some water that I've never been to. And I've been to Fairmont several years ago, but that was long before I ever got into any of the kind of fishing that I'm in now. So, all right, moving on. Uh, got the four inch Yamasinko green pumpkin black flake. I was an idiot because I wasn't paying attention to the uh, to the size whenever I was picking these baits out. And I got the uh, four inch one. I mean, push comes to shove, I'll just get some of the six inch ones, and I'll keep them both. That way, I can kind of see if I'm getting more bites on the six inch or the four inch. But 
I've got the four inches years ago, but I don't remember how well I did on it. Anyway, um, I also got the uh, Yama Frog. Go ahead and take this out and show you, just in case you've never seen it. Just pretty much looks like a big creature bait. And it's uh, black with blue, with uh, I guess large blue flakes. Which the large blue flakes, hopefully you can see it a little better. So I don't even get rid of these dang on fingernails. But anyway, big blue flakes. I like big blue flakes. Okay, now that was the uh, hard plastic and the soft plastic things that I got from Dix and here are the other toys that I got if I don't destroy it first um, this is a um, it's a quantum Escalade HD I've got it upside down I accidentally rolled up my other fishing rod the uh, Abu Garcia Vengeance in my truck window the other day and I forgot that it was back there and I went to roll down the driver's side window up front so I could let some cigarette smoke out and accidentally rolled the back one down forgot that I had my rod kind of sitting straight up through the window just like that and went to roll it up then I heard a crunch and I was like oh no and sure enough I broke the rod Anyway, this is a, uh, a 666 medium action. No, medium heavy, I'm sorry. Um, 48 ton high strain modulus, whatever that is. So I'll have to look that up. Anyway, I got this from Dix for 50 bucks. Yeah. $49.99. And this is the last present that I got. <clears throat> this is a Lose American Hero. Got the rod and reel combo for 80 bucks. I've heard a lot about the Lose brand of things. Decided to get one. This one's a medium heavy, six foot six. Um, and again, well, another thing that I like about it is the left retrieve. Um, suck at doing a right handed retrieve tried it didn't like it so tried the uh, left handed retrieve and absolutely love it and what I love about this reel is I'm pretty sure it's geared a little bit higher I'll have to try and look and see I think it's on the side of the reel yeah, it's a not sure how well you see that. Hopefully it'll look better. 7.1 to 1 gear ratio. This one's, I think it said uh, 30 inches a turn, which is wonderful, especially for things like buzz baits, uh, chatter baits, stuff like that with blades and like spinner baits too. Uh, those are, well, the chatter baits and the buzz baits are considered to be top water kind of lures and you need a reel that's going to be working fast enough to uh, keep it on top of the water. That way it works more effectively. If not, you're going to be sitting there. You're going to be wearing yourself out every single cast if you don't have something that's geared up a little bit higher than what you would normally use. If that's, you understand what I'm saying, hopefully. Um, but yeah, I'm probably throwing some chatterbaits, stuff like that on this. Um, don't know yet. But the raw and real combo for this one, like I said, is uh, $79.99. And uh, for the most part, I don't think it's a bad deal at all. We'll see. And uh, th again, this is the uh, Lose American Hero Speed Stick. 6 foot 6, medium heavy. Can't wait to try that. And uh, might as well throw this in there too. But uh, <clears throat> I thought about getting some PVC pipe to... Uh, substitute as like a, a homemade rod holder or not a rod holder i'm sorry but a rod kind of like a rod protector and 
Instead, I just went and got some of this for the time being. It's like a six foot insulation for uh, water lines. And I mean, it's pretty easy. It doesn't go all the way down the, the entire length of the pole because it's not long enough to be the uh, reel kind of sits in the way. But uh, pretty much just spread it up on there and boom. It was probably about right in here, which is about midways of the rod where I broke mine out the other day. And now I'm not going to say that this is going to completely stop it but you know, anything's better than nothing and plus it it'll work pretty good if you don't want to get your if your rod scratched up or anything like that or possibly break an eye with. uh but yeah that's pretty much all i got right now again oh hold that thought i had a pizza in the oven I had to go get it out didn't want my pizza to burn and uh what i'm gonna do i, I really really despise not teaming up the same brand of rod with the same brand of reel, vice versa. But what I'm gonna do is uh, I'm gonna stick the reel that I had on the Abu Garcia Vengeance, which is the uh, Black Max Left Retrieve. I'm gonna stick it on the uh, Quantum Escalade. I uh, hope this thing is like an Escalade. It feels pretty good. I just hope it's sturdy enough to yank a hog out of some out of some water. But anyway. So we'll go ahead and put that on now. So I don't forget. And uh, that's pretty much all I have for you guys today. Again, I'm sorry I haven't been able to uh, go out and start creating more content. I've just had a lot going on. I really don't want to go into great detail, especially so that the whole world can see it. But uh, yeah, I've, I've been pretty busy. And. Uh, I'm not, I'm not going to spill my guts on YouTube, but don't worry, everything will be okay. Um, anyway, like I said, I think that's about all that I have for you guys right now. Just bear with me. I'm going to be doing a lot more fishing here in the upcoming future. I know I always say that and sometimes I just get suckered into not being able to fish as much, but I promise here in the near future I'm going to be doing more fishing, so expect some videos from me. Um, try to help me get some more subscribers uh, that'll be awesome um, and another thing too is uh, I'll leave a link in the description for my national pro staff uh, profile it's kind of like Facebook it's social media but it's all fishing related fishing oriented and uh, you know, I, I personally think it's pretty cool so if you guys haven't checked it out yet I'll leave a link down in the description below and I'm also going to leave the name of everything that I have right here of all the stuff that I bought today and I'm gonna put the cost color size all that good stuff so anyway thank you guys for watching and again hopefully the next time you guys see me I'll be on the water I desperately need to get back on the water it's it's, it's painful not to be on the water not at least trying to catch fish but anyway that's all I got for you guys thanks for watching